Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about something you shouldn't do during battles or ciphers or jam sessions. And you can totally do it in practice. Uh, and we're talking today about second attempts at stuff like moves, transitions. And I've seen, I've seen actually high level people sometimes do this. Uh, they're obviously not really in the battle scene. They're obviously not really in the cyber scene because from looking from the perspective of sort of the b-boys that are down with doing that stuff it just whack it just like you almost crashed guys so uh and i've seen it with high level like i said like people that could do air flares and and flares and then they did swipe and they tried the 90 and they did one round of 90 and then they stood up and straight after that one round of 90 they did the same 90 again to try again and then uh uh they didn't do it and they did it a third time even, which is even worse. And they did three rounds of 90 all of a sudden, right? Now, in a practice session, that's totally fine, especially if you feel that works for you. Some, uh, it's not always the case, but sometimes for some people, spamming moves over and over and over in a row helps them uh, sort of achieve a better uh, feeling for the move. But in a jam session, uh, in a battle is even worse, but in a jam session or a cypher session, or even if you're performing for people, all it shows is that you failed two times and, and succeeded the last times, right? And failing is sort of the same thing as crashing in these cases. Basically, you just showed you cannot really be clean. You, you're not smooth with stuff. Uh, when you fail your move, you're not like smoothly going into footwork and doing the same move again somewhere else in that footwork or smoothly going or continuing your power move and then uh, doing the same move again in the power move. Because that's sort of all, all kind of legit. Uh, it depends which move it is and if you're not repeating it too much. Uh, but that you could do. For instance, if you're talking about the 90 and you do something like windmill to 90, and then you feel, oh, I only did one round, and you fall back into the windmill, we can do flare, windmill, flare, windmill, flare, 90, and do three rounds of 90 in that same combo. And that's totally legit. Nobody will even really notice. Of course, they will see the first round, uh, first 90 was not that long, but that's sort of a legit way of doing it. What's not a legit way is you do a 90, you do one round, then you stand up and go again, 90 again, boom, and do two rounds, right? So yes, you succeeded, but you also crash for looking from it from the b-boys that are, you know, long in the game, that are actually like in those cybers, know how to jam, how, know how to session. So that's what you really should avoid, and I'm talking about the 90 now, but it's basically all stuff, like freezes, same thing, doing a little footwork thing, Whatever it is doesn't matter, right? You're going through this little elbow freeze, but you kind of failed. And then you try the same elbow freeze again, and now you really uh, succeed at it, right? That's, that's not how you should do it, really. If you fail out of that footwork, uh, of others, in this case, was the elbow freeze, just an example, right? It doesn't matter. Even if you can hit moves amazing, don't do them twice in a row in a jam session, don't do them twice in a row in a battle, especially. Because in the battle, they sort of count on crashing to, to to give easy victory to the other team, because that's the job of the judge to, to pick sides, and that's often very hard because not everybody does the same move. So when they see someone sort of, ah, you failed your move, and then you try it again, I'm gonna pick the other guy, and it makes it very easy for them. But in a in a in a jam session, in a cyber session, sort of the other b boys also look at it like that. Because when I saw that, like this power move guy, it says, man, that's good moves, but why are you failing all the time? He also he also went to footwork, sort of really whack footwork, and then not good freeze after, or he tried three times the same freeze, he couldn't really stick it. That's just lame, guys. Even if, if in the end result you do a really deep invert, it's, it's, it's whack as shit, right? And, and like, I know that the, like the, the b-boys you actually look up to, the, the good b-boys don't, uh, they just look at it like this, yeah, you whack. And his buddy who was with him actually understood this because you know, he had to, like uh, one of his friends, he, he was just siphoning just fine, was more of a football guy, but he didn't repeat. When he sort of did a move, even if he didn't stick it, he just flowed out of it. So uh, that's it actually, guys. Uh, but I will say this, let's say you can go do a really good 90. You know this, ah oh, man, I got four rounds of 2000 in me, right? And you're in a battle session, uh, and you really want to stick that 2000, the only way really is to really master it to a point that you almost for sure have it, or like I said, do it multiple times in a run, where you actually know that you can do it multiple times without repeating it straight in a row. Don't fall to your feet and repeat it. 
Uh, but in a cipher or jam session, you have unlimited rounds. You can try over and over and over in these things, and every time you do the 2000, but do it a little bit different, of course, right? But even then, you can just start with 2000. Brrrt, try to do a really fast and, and powerful 2000 and continue from there. It's kind of fine, don't do it every round, obviously. And then a couple of rounds later, you try it from uh, your footwork. You do footwork transition, good freeze. From the freeze, you go to your feet and 2000 again. Right? So you have multiple attempts, you don't have to do the same move, uh, you, don't, you don't do second attempts basically, you do it in different runs, and it's kind of legit, of course you don't want to repeat too much, but it's kind of fine, right? Don't do this guys, because it looks very lame, I know that when I watched this guy, I was like, man, yeah, that's whack, you just throw everything away what you did before, even if you do like stuff like flare to air flare, back to flare, and then flare and flare and swipe and then you try a 90 and you fail or you try an invert and you fail from that invert and then you try the invert again and then you stick it it's like yeah but you just that's just a crash right that's just whack so don't do that guys be wary of this try to work around this when you practice do it however you feel like what gives you resource if doing the same move over and over in a row helps for you then do it that's good, that's practice so it's not jamming, it's not ciphering and it for sure isn't badly. See you next time.